This video is part of a series of videos created to familiarize you with operation of the GFC 600 Digital Autopilot. In this video, you'll learn how to conduct a missed approach with the GFC 600 Autopilot engaged. We'll focus on enunciations displayed on the GMC 605C mode controller, while showing comparative enunciations on the original GMC 605. Going missed from an actual instrument approach to minimums is a relatively rare event, and it's this rarity that creates a lack of proficiency in pilots. Missed approaches should be practiced on a regular basis, so that when you actually need to go missed, you'll be able to execute the procedure in a safe manner. The Supplemental Type Certificate, or STC, for the GFC 600 Digital Autopilot allows for the installation of a go-around button. While the location of the button may vary by aircraft, it will typically be mounted in a visible location, on or near the control used to manage thrust. Pressing this button when airborne causes several things to occur. The flight director will show a designated pitch-up attitude and wings level. The enunciations on the mode controller will show GA in both the lateral and vertical fields. The CDI will change to GPS mode, and the navigator will sequence to the missed approach procedure. The autopilot will remain engaged during this process, so you'll be able to fly a coupled missed approach. You would still need to apply climb power and clean up the aircraft, followed by selecting appropriate lateral and vertical modes for the autopilot. As always, you want to aviate, navigate, and communicate. A tip from your Garmin Aviation Training Team is that after pressing the go around button, you should take care of the physical elements first, such as applying climb power and retracting gear and flaps. The GA mode of the flight director should provide for establishing a reasonable climb speed and keep your wings level while you clean up the aircraft. Once climb power is set and the airplane is cleaned up, it's time to take care of the digital elements. First, verify that the selected altitude is set to the highest constraining altitude on the published procedure, or to the ATC authorized altitude. Then, select the airspeed management button, labeled either IAS or FLC, to capture the current airspeed and roll the down-up wheel to adjust the speed if needed. This takes care of the aviate step. Next, select nav mode if you'll be flying the published missed approach procedure containing navigation guidance, or heading mode if you've been provided a heading for the missed approach. This takes care of the navigate step, which leaves communicating with ATC that you have gone missed. Here is an example of going missed from the ILS Runway 36 approach at New Century Air Center in Olathe, Kansas. As you can see in the approach chart, the published missed approach procedure involves a climb to 2700, then a climbing left turn to 4000 on the Topeka Vortac 107 radial to rugby intersection and hold. So let's see how the GFC 600 autopilot manages this procedure with a GTN XI navigator. As we arrive at minimums of 1267, we press the go around button while advancing the throttle to climb power. The aircraft pitches up to the flight director pitch attitude and wings level. While this is occurring, we watch for a positive rate of climb and then retract the landing gear, followed by retracting the flaps. With the airplane cleaned up, we select IAS to activate indicated airspeed mode for the climb and then select NAV so that the system will follow the published procedure. A typical mistake made during a missed approach is to bug the first altitude in the procedure. That would cause the altitude to be captured, which is not what we want. Always be sure to adjust the selected altitude to the highest constraining altitude shown in the procedure, or the altitude authorized by ATC. Once the highest altitude in the procedure is captured, we progress on the route to the hold which is at Rugby intersection for this procedure. When we arrive at the holding waypoint, the system will follow a logical hold entry and begin the hold. There are several methods for exiting a hold once a new plan has been devised and communicated to ATC. You could load and activate a different approach to the current destination. You could select to go direct to another airport, or load and activate an approach for another airport or you could simply bug a heading and then select heading mode. Okay, now you've seen how to execute a coupled missed approach with the GFC 600 autopilot. Be sure to view the additional videos in this series to learn about controls and enunciations, as well as operational features of this autopilot. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about your Garmin equipment, and thanks for flying Garmin.